all right guys so i'm carson james and the video that you're about to watch is a horse that uh has been known to rear and just kind of gets real braced and kind of hot and goey so this video is of us doing some things to try to help calm this horse down and get the braces out of the horse's feet which will uh fix the rearing problem and we talk about some other things, but that's kind of the main thing that we're working on with this horse. So hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, so um just gonna we're basically just gonna just gonna spend a little bit of time here just kind of being up above her from this other horse to see if she goes to move. I can just kind of move with her here. I kind of love I can kind of pull her up in here. Uh get her just kind of used to this horse will kind of sniff on her hip and stuff he'll kind of get her used to kind of getting messed with a little bit uh but see we're liking that you see her eyes shell is she really ain't too worried about me being up here we can rock this saddle real easy from right here and then uh there we kind of see how we can kind of lift up and push her hip around a little bit here let's switch sides right here come over and check her out on this side He's a little funny about her flank there, so I'm just going to let him keep nosing it. And uh, with where he's at, she won't really be able to kick her because or, uh, she won't really be able to kick him because um, I've got her nose kind of snubbed up a little bit. There's a little change there. See, he can just, we might just, we might actually just hang out here for a minute and let him, uh, let him kind of get her over that deal a little bit there. He'll do all my work for me. But the uh, the owner did say that she uh, that this horse will it gets kind of funny about her rear end sometimes. So this is going to be real good for her here, you know. Everything we're doing is just to get her head right, and it might it might seem like or like one example is. Somebody might say, yeah, a back cinch makes my horse weird or whatever. But a better way to think about that is, is the horse is already weird on the inside. The back cinch is just causing it to come to the surface. There, I'm trying to get the brace out, you know, but she handled that really well. deal so same kind of deal uh see here how i just got two inches of slack in my lead rope here uh i don't want to really hang on her she needs to feel freedom of movement if she's ever gonna kind of relax and come down a little bit but i need to be ready if she goes to bucking or something i can kind of pull her nose around See, it's real counterintuitive, but the more we hold on to them, the, the more the more they need to be held on to. There, see her trot getting real lazy now. There's a little change. Now she might realize that she can just walk around here. You know, she might realize she don't have to spontaneously just trot off. You know, so if she, you know, if she'll if she'll offer to just kind of walk around here and let us kind of pet on her and not be thinking she's got to go go go. You know, we'll. We'll take that and we'll love it. So we got to get her thinking when we pull on this right rein, her hip needs to go that way. So uh, we're just going to spend a good bit of time here getting that hip. There it went, getting that hip to unbrace. We just need her to really start to associate this rein with letting this hip shoot over there towards the horse trailer. See it stuck there? There it came. Her, that brace that she's got going on right here, 
that's the reason that a horse will bend to the right but not actually go that way when you're wanting them to. There it went. When the right rein gets kind of pulled and lifted, the hip needs there, step to the outside. Before long, she'll be there. She's kind of finding it a little quicker here. There. There. And when you get this hip as loose as it needs to be, you'll notice there's very little brace through their ribs and their neck and all that. All of the brace in a horse is there because their hips not being real loose like that. Good deal. All right, um, we're just gonna go. Uh, just gonna go out here into the big arena. I'm gonna just try to let her see if I can get her stopped here. See the timing of the rope there when she's moving. I'm kind of. I'm not really pulling. I'm just putting a little bit I got like four pounds and I'm waiting there and then when the feet stop oh good 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 we like that she lowered her head then when she walks off on me again I'll just let her kind of there and then you just so you just keep catching her um and pretty quick she'll kind of she'll kind of learn to stand and hang out a little bit just trying to get her where she I need her to stand still when I kind of move around up here so I can get off you know Notice I'm going to kick out my right toe. See how I only got the toe in that right stirrup? Just going to hang in here until she backs one step there. Um, there, see her breathe and sigh there? It's because she realized, oh, wow, when I back up, the pressure goes away. She's probably never been able to take a step back and actually step into a release backing up. Um, but see her really chewing, kind of shaking her head making some noises there look she we're loving it she's loosening up her jaw that's going to loosen up her yeah loosening up her tmj a lot of this behavior is because we unbrace some of the tension in the hip back there so anyways you noticed i got my only my right toe in the syrup now before i even think about getting my weight off center i'm going to um I'm gonna go ahead and kick my left foot out completely, completely. And then that way, I'm just ready to swing right off. All right. So as you do things like that with a horse, uh, a lot of what we were doing there was kind of just putting the horse through the ringer, so to speak, to look for any weirdness, any tension, any signs of unsureness, we're just trying to see if there were any little holes that needed to be filled in before going on and swinging the leg over and getting on this horse. Uh, so in line with that, we have uh, we have this thing we've come up with, and it's called the, uh, what's the actual name of it? The Mental Sound Checklist. The Mental, uh, it's, uh, we call it the Mental Soundness Checklist. And what this thing is, is it's a deal that, you can go through and it'll give you little things to do with your horse to kind of like we did in this video to run them through the ringer, so to speak, and see if there are any missing holes that need to be filled in with your horse. So to get the mental soundness checklist, you can just go here right now and it will bring it right up. And I highly recommend looking through what we have on there and doing that with your horse and watch your horse very carefully as you take them through this checklist and look for any sign of unsureness or brace or bother or anything like that and try to work with your horse to get these things filled in because it's these little things that are easily missed that end up making the biggest difference with your horse. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.